Hey everybody, and welcome to another lecture with Coding with Roby. And in this lecture, we're going to be going over Alembic. So what is Alembic? Well, Alembic is a lightweight database migration solution for when you use SQL Alchemy. So this may bring up the next question of what is a migration tool? And overall, what is a migration of a database? Well, a migration tool allows us to plan, transfer, and upgrade resources within a database. This is a fancy way of saying you can change a SQL Alchemy database table after it has been created. I like to imagine it, it is similar to how a car works. You have your car, which has four doors, four tires, a windshield, and some accessories. You may not know you want to have tinted windows when you first get your car, but after you purchase, you go ahead and get your windows tinted. This is how the migration tool works. You created the original database table to the best of your knowledge. But later on, you found out you need to enhance the table. So we will use Alembic to make changes to our database. This leads us to how does Alembic actually work? Alembic provides the creation and invocation of change management scripts. This allows you to be able to create migration environments and be able to change data how you like. In this section, you will learn how to use Alembic for a project thus far. We will be adding a new database table while enhancing one of the current database tables users that we've already created, and then adding a relationship between them. Alembic is a very powerful tool because it allows you to be able to modify your databases real time. And this helps you be able to continually enhance your database while enhancing your application. And if we know anything about technology, it is that we have to be flexible in our approach in this fast changing world. Let's continue with what we've learned on the last slide. We already have our tables for our users. And for this example, we're going to say our table of users has a single row within it, which is the coding with Roby user. We could easily enhance this table to now include a new column called phone number. We will not be using this example in our coding section. We will be using something bigger, but I just wanted to show you a simple example of how a limit could benefit our project. Now with making a new database column, can include risk that we will define later on in this section. For example, what if we do not want this field to be null? Or what if we already have some data available for some users? This could all be extremely risky when dealing with the database. So as the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> but for real, you can really mess up your application upgrading your database and changing columns. However, Alembic allows us to keep track of the changes we make. So you can always downgrade your database back to the original form. This makes Alembic significantly more safe for use. A small Alembic overview would be that Alembic is a powerful migration tool that allows us to modify our database schemas. As our application evolves, our database will also need to evolve. Alembic helps us be able to modify our databases to keep up with the rapid development world. Also, Alembic helps us to continue with no fear of breaking our application because we can always roll back our database changes by downgrading it given to us by Alembic. Currently, we have our users table defined in our model. We then have our application check our SQL Alchemy models and tables during initialization using the models.base.metadata.createAll function. This initialization factor will create and define all database tables within our application if they do not already exist. However, we will not be making our next enhancement the way we have been doing it originally in this project. We will create everything using Alembic which will include all our new database tables and models and our new table column on users, 
All very exciting stuff. This asks the question of what will our new database table look like? Our database table will have an address that links to a specific user by a foreign key. The new user column will have a spot for the foreign key relationship back to the address using its primary key. The address table will have an ID, an address, a street, a city, a state, zip code, and country. And once we create both the column and our users and this new table, this will really wrap up our user as a full complete user on our application. All right, well, this wraps up everything we wanted to cover in this lecture, and I will see you in the next video.